Um, Mr. Chair, Excellencies, uh, distinguished delegates, and gentlemen. Um, I would like to thank you for this opportunity to make this a statement. Uh, on behalf of the Food uh, and Agriculture Organization uh, of the United Nations, it is timely to meet again here in Cancun to outline ways to speed up, intensify, and scale up our efforts to turn the Sendai agreements into action. Sendai was a milestone, indeed, in paving uh, the way for enhancing our actions on disaster risk reduction through stronger sector involvement in resilience building. It called for more coherent development policies comprising food security and highlighted the need to protect livelihoods and productive assets. Every year, natural disasters kill people and decimate livelihoods, as we have just seen with El Nino in the last two years, leaving millions of people food insecure. The small-scale farmers, herders, fisher folk, and forest-dependent communities are particularly vulnerable. FAO's most recent damage and loss agreement shows that in developing countries, agriculture absorbs more than 23% economic impacts of natural hazards. When it comes to droughts, this figure goes as much as 80%. In addition, overlapping and concurrent shocks arising from conflict and displacement aggravate losses and damages, pushing millions of people into destitution. In 2016 alone, about 108 million people worldwide were estimated to be in severe and acute food insecurity, of which 10 million were facing famine. A, distract, a drastic increase over the 80 million food insecure people estimated in 2015. El Nino and other extreme climatic events contributed significantly to these, climate, to these increases. In the face of climate change, the need to build climate resilience of agricultural livelihoods becomes more urgent than ever. Agriculture's exposure to the vagaries of uh, weather renders the sector particularly vulnerable to natural hazards, including the extreme events, and climate variability and change. Therefore, we need our efforts to be redoubled to anticipate and reduce risk, prepare for and absorb shocks, and mitigate their impact and losses, as well as adapt to development pathways, especially in food and agriculture. Mr. Chair. Ladies and gentlemen, the agricultural sector, crop, livestock, forestry, and fisheries offer innovative solutions to tackle the causes of these risks, thereby protecting livelihoods of some of the world's poorest and most vulnerable people in the face of disasters, climate change, and crises. Field evidence shows that specific agricultural technologies for disaster risk reduction do perform, on average, more than 2.5 times than usual practices, and they, their returns are much higher under hazard, hazard conditions. It is crucial to enhance, access, and upscale these technologies. Increasing the resilience of agricultural livelihoods to threats and crises is at the core of FAO's strategic program. In the past two years, FAO has increased support to countries in, trans in translating the Sendai framework into actions that reduce risks and losses while promoting food security, nutrition, resilient, and sustainable agriculture. In 2016, significant progress along the, fr the framework's four pillars was achieved with FAO's support. Understanding risks, more than 32 countries improved their capacities for resilience 
and vulnerability analysis within the agricultural sectors, enhancing their understanding of disaster risks that threaten agricultural livelihoods. Governing risks. Sectors were strengthened to manage disaster risk, and disaster risk reduction governance was improved in 27 countries through the formulation of sector-specific strategies for disaster risk reduction and crisis management, while 12 countries designed agriculture-related investment programs for disaster risk reduction. Time, please. Investing in, in DRR, a disaster risk reduction is everyone's business, and FAO is of the firm conviction that we need to increase our efforts on the move from concept towards tangible delivery of services at all levels. And we believe that the agricultural sector provides ample yet largely untapped opportunities to promote the resilience of the most uh, vulnerable households. So empowering local communities, men and women, as key actors at disaster risk is vital. FAO continues to promote enhanced access to agriculture, technologies, and practices for reducing uh, and building resilience. And the provision of regular funding for these disaster risk reduction at national and international level uh, is uh, essential. One important point as a proactive member of the UN family working on DRR, FAO has contributed to development of the UN Plan of Action on DRR for Resilience and the UNISDR overall leadership. FAO is well advanced in implementing the plan in member countries as well as in DRR in institutionalization. Thank you uh, very much for it. Thank you.